a very good morning and welcome back to your own channel seek the soul the truth lies within and today before we go ahead in this blessing 216th day of our blessing all those who are listening to this on instagram you can come and look at the link down below in the description which takes you towards the channel the youtube channel and over there you can not just find the past blessings you can see your flexibility yoga asanas chair exercises diet weight reduction relationships parenting and much more over there so let's go ahead with today's blessing and let's find out on this channel what exactly baba or god the father has to say in brahma kumaris what we learn today is may you become free from bondage and experience the high stage by becoming free from any subtle bondage of thoughts now god is asking us to move ahead in life and be safe from getting entangled into any form of bondage whether it's a physical bondage or a relationship bondage so let's understand what baba has to say to the extent that children are free from bondage so they can remain stable in a high stage therefore check if any string is still attached even in a subtle form in my thoughts words or actions we generally postpone things we generally don't move ahead or take decisions based on simple relationships i'll give you an example like in a city like darjeeling there's a trend over here a boy and a girl who are in a relationship they generally tend to choose the same kind of college let's say they're going to bangalore they're going to delhi they choose the same kind of college because of that relationship they even postpone or give up their own desires sometimes they go to a college which they don't want to study that particular subject but they are going because of the relationship isn't that a bondage right so people are making decisions or taking decisions on the basis of that we may call it as love but god says that is bondage that is attachment so god says you will not be on your right direction until unless you remove that bondage you take your direction what you are supposed to do and that can only happen once we are cutting off these small small ties these are very golden fine threads which we don't even recognize we don't realize and we paint it up or we we cover it up by saying oh it's love or it's it's about taking care it's about understanding and many more things we paint them up with these words it's not about being selfish but it's also about focusing on the self because if i am happy if i am happy myself if i'm making myself happy only then can i make somebody else happy but what we do in kaluk we try to make other people happy thinking that they will make us happier back but that's not the way i am happy i can then reflect that energy of happiness onto others for that i have to be away from bondages in my life so bondages of thoughts versus thoughts what will i do what will they do without me how will they live without me and we have created those bondages ourselves we let's say i've got certain qualities in me and because of which my wife or my parents or my friends or my brother sisters they depend upon me for that now i am always jumping onto the conclusion that they cannot move ahead if i don't give them that service which i am good at now doesn't that make it a bondage in life i can help them out to learn how to do it but if every time i jump onto that let's say a parent is jumping on to help the child every time the child makes a mistake will the child learn no that is a bondage in our thoughts then we say the words oh i am a child so what will i do i have to be dependent on my parents or i am a parent what will my child do till the time i am alive i have to serve them i have to help them out these are all bondages in our thoughts words and actions which are not letting other people grow and not letting us also grow so then baba says do not remember therefore check if any string is still attached even the subtle form in my thoughts words and actions do not remember anyone except the one father god says everybody is my child as per their karma they going to get their fruit but i am going to take care of every child why are you worried why do you try to become the one who is taking all the burdens of everybody in your life when we say he is mine she is mine my parents my wife my my this my my is the thing which brings about all the bondages 
and then we get into tension stress worry about them and we take wrong decisions when we are in worry we take wrong decisions when we are concerned or in stress about others so god says they are my children i'll take care of them you take care of yourself don't take my burden on to yourself god says that is my burden but it is not actually a burden for him also but it is my burden to take care of other things don't make it your burden it's god's duty to take care of other people also whom so we call them as ours so baba says if you remember even your body if you remember our body i look like this these genes have come from my physical parents so obviously whom i do i remember physical parents concerned about them worry about them all those things so god says along with your body your relations then along with your body then along with your body your relations of the body your physical possessions relationships of the body means what religion caste which ethnicity and so many other distinguishing thoughts will come which doesn't make us think one unanimity which doesn't bring us towards god but actually divides us on the basis of physical body that is one thing physical possessions all the things which i see around me everything everything is a possession everything will be remembered and attachments to things not just people to things also some people while leaving the body which we call as death they remember my property is over there my money is over there keep it safe they are leaving the body they're going to go transition into the next life but they are still attached so god has said that your last thoughts will decide where you're going so if my last thoughts is about my children my parents my family my money my possessions this mobile phone everything if it's there in my mind where did i keep that please take care of that that means my last thoughts are not going to let me go into liberation but i have to take rebirth on this earth so then god says then along with your body your relations to the body your physical possessions and the world will all follow one after another i am free from bondage keep this blessing in your awareness from today itself right now itself i am free from bondage i want to be free from bondage is a wrong thought i am free from bondage because i want to be free from bondage is something which we can postpone tomorrow again we can say that i want to be free day after tomorrow again we can say that i i want to be free but i am free from bondage is a very powerful and a very pure thought so automatically all those thoughts worries and tensions and stress you remove them god take care of them i'll take care of myself as simple as that so god says keep this blessing in your awareness and do the service of releasing the whole world from maya's trap maya as we as we know and all those who are listening for the first time lust anger greed ego attachment jealousy laziness postponement all this is maya maya is not money all this negativity is maya so that's how we can even help others to be removed from attachment if i'm attached to somebody that person is going to feel trapped or that person will get get attached back and that becomes a weakness we get into each other's trap of worrying about each other concerned about each other and then we get tired doing that and that's where the relationships fall apart so if you have any comments if you have any suggestions if you have experienced anything in, on the similar basis on the similar platform what we, god has mentioned over here do share it in the comment box and leave your comments and share it with others if you have like this so stay safe stay home om shanti take care